Reports from various parts of China have indicated an increase in gas and high-speed rail prices, as well as water and electricity prices. Mainland media analysis suggests that higher-level governments, facing financial constraints and the inability to sell land, seek shared financial burdens. For example, electricity prices in Jieshi County, Guangdong, have doubled from 0.3 yuan per kilowatt hour to 0.68 yuan per kilowatt hour. This increase has caused dissatisfaction among residents, particularly in villages like Ho Pu, where families feel financial pressure, especially during the summer when electricity bills are higher. Electricity price increases have been reported in regions such as Hubei, Sichuan, and Jiangsu, as residential electricity pricing shifts from off-peak to time-based pricing. This change involves dividing the day into different periods, each with its own electricity price per kilowatt hour. Additionally, water bills are expected to increase in many places. In a hearing in Guangzhou regarding tap water price reform, most representatives expressed support. However, some netizens have concerns about rising living costs if the price increases spread to their cities. Recently, there have also been reports of increased prices for high-speed rail, particularly for certain routes. There's also public concern regarding the growth rate of gas meters, with scrutiny focused on Chongqing Gas Company a subsidiary of China Resources Group. The company's significant profit increase has led to suspicions that it may be related to accelerated meter readings. Residents in various areas, including Chongqing, Sichuan, and Jiangsu, have observed rapid meter growth and subsequent spikes in their gas bills. Additionally, the financial success of China's electricity, heat, gas, and water production and supply industry has surpassed that of the automobile manufacturing industry, prompting questions about the profitability of these essential services. The media has revealed that in the past, small and medium-sized cities thrived by selling land and receiving financial support from higher authorities. However, many of these cities are now facing financial difficulties. They cannot sell land, and the higher authorities cannot provide financial assistance. As a result, they are struggling to meet their financial obligations. In this situation, they may have to impose financial burdens on the people.